Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today, we're customizing the Obey Omni EGT in Grand Theft Auto Online. This thing is brand new. I'm excited to customize this. I think this is going to be one of the cooler vehicles from the update. So anyway, we're going to hop inside right now. So starting off, the armor. We're going to go all the way up on that. This is an Imani Tech vehicle, it looks like. This thing has armor plating. So we'll go ahead and add that onto the car. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep it on forever, but for right now, good enough. We are going to go race brakes in this thing as well. For the bumpers, we do have front and secondary options as well. And by front and secondary, I mean front and rear options. I don't know what I'm saying. To start with, I don't know, the stock front bumper does look pretty cool on this car with the uh, black on it there. I do like that, but the primary bumper kind of just kind of just hits a little different, you know what I mean? So we're going to go for the primary bumper. For the rear bumper, uh, we can change it up quite a bit. You can make this thing into like a full race car, it looks like. Um, we'll go to the primary uh, OEM diffuser. I, I think I like that. Engine, we're going to go all the way up on that. For the fenders, we can add carbon front fenders if we want to, or just uh, vented front fenders, of course. Um, we got the armor on it already. Let's go for the carbon vented fenders. Why not? For the grill itself, we can uh, we can have a carbon grill inset. We can have a primary grill inset um, or a secondary as well. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should go carbon. Let's go carbon. I think I think it looks pretty good. Uh, for the hood, we can go carbon or secondary. I'm not going to do that. Imani Tech Missile Lock on Jammer. Let's add it onto the car. Why not? For the headlights, we are going to go Xenon, of course. For the livery, we have the full black stripes on this. We got the double stripes as well. White double stripes. We got the black race stripes, white race stripes. Safari time. Interesting. Uh, we have the go green livery. We have the toll road racer. That's kind of cool, actually. We got the street style as well. We have the classic camo, geometric camo, raceway attack, interesting. We got the hard abstraction, that is like hard to look at, but it looks pretty cool. We got urban camo, we got the Obey Works Racer, and of course we're back to stock. Um, we're gonna keep it stock, I don't really like any of the liveries too too much. Uh, for the plate we will go yellow on black though, for the proximity mine dropper, might as well add one, why not? For the respray on the car kind of want to go for something like a silver. Um, I feel like this car looks really good in a silver. Maybe we go bluish silver or maybe we go for like a darker. Ooh, rolled steel kind of looks mean. I'm not going to lie. We're going to go for that. For the primary and for the secondary, do we go black? Do we just keep it black? I think we do. I think black for the secondary is all right. Um, maybe for the pearlescent on the primary though, we just get rid of it and go black. I think that looks really good. We're gonna we're gonna go for that. For the roof, of course, we can add a carbon roof. Uh, we're probably gonna go for a carbon roof. I just don't know which one yet. We have the arrow box on the top of this thing as well. That is an interesting look. I don't think that I'm gonna go for it though. Uh, we'll go for the carbon roof for sure, just to lighten it up a little bit, even though it makes no difference. But anyways, whatever, it's fine. Uh, we will go for the carbon skirts on the side of this thing as well. The spoiler, we can add the roof spoiler. That is interesting. We got the tuner wing as well. We got the street wing, got the drift wing, got the race wing. We have the GT wing as well, the high level wing, and of course the endurance racer wing. Um, the most low key of them all is the roof spoiler. So it's looking like we're going roof spoiler, even though it's kind of ugly. Uh, for the suspension, we are going to lower it all the way down. Why not? It stances it out like crazy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, for the wheel type on this thing, I actually really do like the stock wheels. I think they look really good. Uh, however, we are going to go for the concave mega mesh. I think they fit this car really nicely. For the wheel color, I could go black. However, I'm thinking we're going to go stone silver, kind of to match up, not quite with the paint, but like kind of. Uh, we'll go bulletproof tires as well and of course we are going to tint the windows all the way out uh, does that do the headlights as well it does that is kind of annoying because i really like the look of the headlights but i really want tinted windows so i guess i guess we'll go for it It looks really sick either way so i'll take it i'll take it um, it's time to take this thing outside we're gonna do a sound test even though it's electric and of course we're gonna do a review as well so i'll see you guys in a second all right so it's time to hear how menacing this thing is i'm sure it's gonna sound great let's see
Sounds absolutely incredible. I've never heard something that sounds so good. Um, of course, it is all wheel drive, so it does get a really good start off the line. And of course, it is also electric, so it also gets a really good start off the line because of that. It has an active rear spoiler as well. That seems to be a theme with this update. Uh, there's a couple cars that I've noticed that have active rear spoilers. Uh, there's the new Lamborghini uh, Countach replica in GTA that has the active rear spoiler, and then this thing, it also has it. So that's pretty cool. I, uh, I do like an active rear spoiler. It's a nice little detail. Um, that I definitely do appreciate. Now, as far as this car goes, um, the acceleration is pretty good. Let me let me just stop for a second here. Let's let's give her off the line. Let's see how fast. Uh, yeah, she, it accelerates decently fast. However, it's not like that fast. You know, it's not as fast as you'd maybe hope for from an electric all-wheel drive vehicle. I kind of expected it to be a little faster, honestly. Um, but you know what? It's you know we we can't really blame the car. It's uh, you know it, it's doing its best, man. It's doing its best. It's doing its best. So you know that's that's what really counts. And as far as the handling goes, um, let's find out how that how it handles. I mean, it is all wheel drive, so I'm expecting it to have maybe a bit of understeer. You know what? Actually, I don't think it really does. It handles pretty nicely, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it does kind of have a bit of a, a bit of a drift thing going on. That seems to be another common theme with this update. Almost all of the cars seem to have an oversteer bias, which, hey, I like that. Yeah, this thing has interesting handling. It feels really heavy, um, which I guess makes sense because it probably does weigh a lot because of all the batteries that would uh, that would be inside of it. Um, so that kind of does make sense. With that being said, though, it does have like decent enough handling. Um, if you're going the right speed in the corner, it, it handles really nicely. I guess that's really the same for every car ever, but I don't know this car in particular. I feel like if you're going the like perfect speed, um, you can you can make it go like, you know, pretty good. And uh, I don't know. I'm I'm pretty impressed with this thing. Usually I'm not a big fan of the electric cars in GTA. However, this one does look really cool. It's got a Monty Tech, which is probably probably its best feature, honestly. Um, the acceleration's okay. It's not bad. Could be better, but uh, you know what? I'm not one to complain about it. I think it's a pretty good car. Would I recommend it over any of the other cars that we got in the update today? So far, I can't say that I would, but that's not to say it's a bad car. You know what? Maybe... We'll have to see what happens when I actually end up ranking all of the cars, and uh, we'll see where this thing falls. For right now, I'd say maybe hold off on this one, maybe pick up some of the other cars first if you uh, haven't got any of the other ones yet. Uh, if you have, then, you know, go for it. This thing's pretty good. It's, uh, it's not terrible, that's for sure. Uh, not the best either, though. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the e-tron GT customization and review in grand theft auto online if you guys enjoyed this if you learned something a like is of course appreciated if not dislike subscribe if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace